Hi, I'm Andrew Springer, chiropodus from the Foot Advantage in Oshawa. Today I'd like to talk you through ingrown toenail surgery, what it is, why we do it, and what you can expect. An ingrown toenail happens when the edge of your toenail grows into the surrounding skin, usually on the big toe. The most common cause is improper cutting, either cutting the nail too short or cutting into the corner to cut it out, and as a result, leaving another corner, spike, or sharp edge that grows in again as the nail grows forward. As I often say, it's not just what you cut out, it's also what you leave behind that can be problematic. Once ingrown, you can have pain, swelling, and sometimes infection. If conservative treatments like soaking, proper nail cutting, antibiotics, or in-office conservative care haven't worked, surgery is often the best way to resolve the problem and prevent it from coming back. Prior to surgery, we have some specialized instruments and techniques we can use in the office that may improve or even solve the problem. The procedure itself is straightforward and usually takes about 10 minutes. First, I'll numb your toe with a local anesthetic so you won't feel any pain during the surgery. The surgery is never started until I'm absolutely sure you won't feel anything. There are a few different surgical techniques, but the most common is called the partial nail avulsion. In this procedure, I remove a small section of the nail that's growing into your skin. Sometimes, I'll also apply a chemical called phenol to the nail root to permanently prevent that part of the nail from growing back. All of this, your options and your preferences are discussed before we ever start the surgery. If your case is more severe or has recurred multiple times, we might consider other methods, such as removing more of the nail or addressing the surrounding tissue. But for most people, partial nail avulsion with chemical treatment is very effective. About 98% of cases don't come back. After the procedure, your toe may remain numb for several hours. You might notice some redness, swelling, or mild drainage, which is normal. I'll show you how to keep the area clean and change the dressing. To avoid post-op pain, we advise people to elevate the affected foot or feet for the 24 hours after. Most people can get back to normal activities within a couple of days, but you should avoid tight shoes and keep the toe protected while it heals. If you have any concerns about pain or signs of infection postoperatively, you need to contact me right away. You will have scheduled follow-up appointments to make sure everything is healing well. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you at the clinic.